what if you want to extract only the first three characters of a particular cell? For that, you can use the left function. Left, right and middle are three functions used to extract a particular number of characters from either the left side or the right side or the middle side. I mean the middle position. Now, let's start with the left function. Let's say is equal to left and open the parenthesis and let's select the text we want to extract the data from. Let's say the email ID and you have to put a comma and type in the number of characters you want to extract. Now let's say 4 is the number of characters I want to extract. Let's close the parenthesis and click enter. See the first four letter of this particular email ID is extracted. Let's double click and it is filled. But I, I don't want the first four characters in everything. Maybe I want the user ID of this email. That is, I don't want the domain name. I don't want to know if it is at gmail.com or at yahoo.com. I just want the first name of the email ID. For that, you need to club the left function and the search function. Let's try it. So instead of left function that we use now, let's type it again is equal to left open the parenthesis and the text is the email id as before then put comma in the number of characters what i want to know is that i want the x position so let's put search function here is equal to search and inside parenthesis we can put at as a string here inside double quotes now comma what is the within text here Again, email ID. I'll close the bracket here. Now, if I do this, I'll get the at as well in the answer. I'll show you what it is. Let me close the parenthesis and click enter. See, I got the value here, but that at the rate is also there at the end. I don't want that to appear here. For that, what you can do is, in the search function, you can put search minus one. So if the position of at is at 8, I, want, I don't want the first 8 characters to be extracted from the left side. I want only 8 minus 1 characters to be extracted. Let's see now. See, I got the username from the email ID. Let's autofill this and see if it works for everything. As expected, it worked for everything. Now, let's get into the right function. Right function is very similar to left function, but the difference is that we'll extract it from the right side. Let's type in is equal to right and open the parenthesis and the text we want to extract data from. Let's say the company and put a comma and type in the number of characters you want to extract. I want to extract the first three characters from the company name. And let's close the bracket. We are not extracting the first three characters. We are extracting the last three characters because we are extracting it from the right side of the text. Let's click enter. And as you can see, the last three characters of the company name here is P-A-N and we got P-A-N. Let's autofill this by double clicking on the right bottom corner of the cell. Done. Now, the last function in this video is the mid function. Mid function is similar to left function and right function, but instead of extracting it from left or right, we'll extract it from the middle. For mid function, we'll start writing is equal to mid, and then let's open the bracket or the parenthesis, and we'll put the text we want to extract the data from. Let's say the email ID, and put a comma, and we need to know the start number, that is, for left function, we started extracting from the first thing, right? So in mid function, we'll start extracting from wherever you want it to. So if you tell start, it will ignore S, C and O and it will start extracting from O till 5 characters. So let's say 3 and let's type in the number of characters we want to extract. Let's put it as 5. And now we can close the parenthesis and click on enter. See, we got 5 characters but starting from the 4th position because we ignored 
starting from the third position because we we gave the start number as three now let's double click on the right bottom corner and autofill this data done now that is how you can use different functions on a text in your excel i hope this video was clear and you understood how you can make modifications or alterations to your text in excel i have posted many other function videos in this channel please do watch them if you think that will help you